Daryl, here we are back at Grimsby Town. Um, disappointing afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, disappointing result for us today. Um, you said yesterday you were anticipating what would be a tactical encounter. Uh, the first half in particular proved to be just that, didn't it? Yeah, I think the whole game did really. I think the wind didn't help it either. I think it was very windy today, obviously. Um, so we had most of the ball again first half, like we have in the previous two games we've been in. Um, we didn't manage to turn the, the, the ball into goals, or into real, real chances, or enough of them anyway. Um, too many poor decisions for us probably in the final third. The host seems to be pumping long balls into our box with quite re uh, quite you know, decent regularity. Um, he seems to deal with them quite well. Yeah, with that well, I think they've, they've got Hanson, who's, who's a real handful. He's excellent in the air. You got Green off him. Um, they had Rose in the first half off him. He's a good player as well. Um, that, that's what they, the grooms are good at. It. Hansen's good at. It. it keeps the ball alive for them in the box. But obviously, with the personnel we've got, we haven't got that option. We, we have to be more of a footballing team, obviously, because of the players we've got. Um, but no, we, I thought we dealt with that in the main really well. In the first half, at the other end, Theo Archibald and uh, Virgil Gomez, they had decent chances to break the deadlock. Um, if just one of them had gone in, it's a change the game completely. Yeah, it's just poor decisions though. It's like shooting too early when you've got a 1v1 or dragging a shot and you've got more space to step into. Um, we've done it quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, it's frustrating because, you, you, you know, we, we lose today. Are they a better team than us? I don't, I don't think so, to be honest. Um, but they've probably got players with better nows. Um, I've been around the block a bit more than our players and they take their time in the final tour and we don't at the moment. What was your message at half time? Because in many ways it seemed like it would be a mistake or a moment of brilliance which would break the deadlock for quite some time, didn't it? Yeah, I think staying focused, keep playing. We knew the wind was against us, we knew they'd try and pen us in to have to have Virgin Alpha down the sides with their speed. Um, and we created I mean, Virgin that obviously had a great chance second half as well to go one arm. It's, it's a, you know, it's, it's got to be a goal. It's as simple as that, I think, to be honest. Virgil's Ver worked really hard today and he's worked really hard Tuesday night as well. Um, I think them moments in games, we've got to be more clinical than we are at the moment. It's not just Virgil, we've had that in the previous three or four games as well. Disappointing to concede so soon after the half time interval as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, again, we've, we've had a, we were on the attack, so it was a counter attack from them. Great play from the lads to, to clear him off the left hand side and that's uh, a good finish. You introduced Joanne Sides shortly after going behind. Um, what sort of impact did you hope that he will make on the game? Um, hold it up, give us a bit of a platform. Um, obviously, we had the two the quick, two quick lads up there together just to start with. Um, but we needed probably, because of the way the wind was, someone that could back in and hold it up. Ultimately, how do you think we reacted to going one down? Okay, I think we, again, we had some chances afterwards. But again, we're just naive. Right at the end, Miles went header in the box and mm. he's headed it back across the goal. And we've got everyone standing on the heels watching it rather than gambling and running across people in the box. And I think at the moment, that's what we're, we're struggling with. We're struggling with that, that anticipation in, in the opposition's box that we've got to get better at very quickly. What do you think that's down most today? Because from, from you know, watching from the game from the away end, it seems to be the final ball. We actually, you know, passage of play which are quite uh, yeah. promising but yeah. then the final ball that's down yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying the final tour for us we weren't, we weren't good enough today for sure that's, that's the biggest thing I think we've defended well uh, in, the, in the main of the game and mm. um, we've limited them to very little and um, we've dealt with, with their threat of Hanson Green and Rose in the first half really well really really well um, but I still think I'm just being honest from what I see from the lads every day and what I've seen for patches in games that we've got so much quality mm. that we we have to drag out of ourselves now. I think we I don't want us to meander along like a you know, a mid table team. I think we've got a chance to, to really develop across the season. But they've got to want to do it as well on the pitch on a Saturday. Looking for reaction against Port Vale on Tuesday? No, definitely. I'm, I'm, and we've reacted really well across the campaign so far. And then um, there's some really, really big talents in, in that change room and we have to now develop them across the season. And just one final one, you'll you'll be used to this question now, but the uh, the fans were brilliant again today. Yeah, excellent. But one thing I would say is quite a few of them have gone away a little bit frustrated tonight. What would you say to them? Thanks for coming again. Listen, across the season, you're going to happen. You're going to win games. You're going to lose games. Um, as I, I keep saying, we're a young side, and we've got to keep developing. I think that's the thing um, that I can't say enough. To be honest, I think um, it's, it's, it's easy to look at some of our talent, some 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 of our play. Why can't we do it more consistently? But with young players, that's what you get. You get inconsistencies. Um, we've got to try and make that more consistent across the season. Now, thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Darius.